Hello every pony. this is a quick parts overview of the robot waifu, starting from the bottom, let's go! So, we have Omni Wheels, and connected to those Omni Wheels are NEMA 17 stepper motors in a 3D printed bracket that is hot glued in place, which is mounted to a 3D printer filament spool. And right here we have a voltmeter to monitor the charge state of the battery. We have another 3D printed bracket that connects a one inch PVC pipe to the doll that will eventually be replaced with legs, but not yet. So moving over here, we have a three slot 18650 lithium ion battery holder that's only an, uh, that only has enough charge current to run the doll for probably about 10 minutes so that needs to be upgraded but it's perfect for testing moving back here some more excuse me we have the um, DC to DC 12 volt to 6 volt step down converter now this is for the servo motors because they can't run on 12 volts they need 6 volts and moving up here we have an Arduino Mega and sitting on top of that Arduino Mega is a CNC shield. That CNC shield has three stepper motor drivers on it and these are the wires that connect to those stepper motors. So let's move, oh, one more thing. We have a Bluetooth module. That's how we interface and animate the robot waifu. So let's move back to the front. Ooh, a bit precarious. One second, and there. Okay, so moving up, let me turn that off. We have the hands that are just standard ball jointed doll hands, nothing special here. These will eventually be replaced with servo motors, but right now it's just, let me see if I can get that apart, and electric. Yeah, that happens. It's just an elastic band and an S hook, as you can see right there. So, moving up, we have our first joint. This is the elbow joint. And as you can see, the servo motors just stick out the sides, like so. So it allows about 90 degrees of movement. and it fits like that. So it's really quick and easy to replace most of the servos. And moving up a little more, the twist servo is hidden in this sleeve. Let me pull this down just a little bit. You can see it right there. So this allows it to rotate 180 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise. And it's hidden again by that sleeve. And now we have this servo motor that allows it to move like this. And the last servo motor is hidden inside the torso that allows 180 degrees of movement like this. And you can see the back side of that servo motor. So all of these joints fit together very snugly and there's a good reason for that because these servo motors are so cheap they are incredibly jittery and the only solution I've found to solve that is to add friction. So by having the joints rub up against each other that adds just enough friction that stops them from being jittery. And it avoids the need for any complex systems like bearings and whatnot. So we also have articulation in the head. We can look up, down, and we can look 180 degrees left or 180 degrees right. So that is pretty much it for the parts. Thanks.